Hello and welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and in this series of films I'm looking at my wine recommendations in the winter of 2022 going into the spring of 2023. And in this film I'm looking at my recommendations from Morrison's. If you go to thedrinker.co.uk you'll see all of my recommendations from all of the wines at all of the price, uh, price points but none of the wines in any of these films will cost you more than £10. And in many of them, I've tried to keep the prices really low because cost of living crisis, we need to get value for money. Um, so a lot of these are a lot less than £10 a bottle. In fact, all of these six wines, I think, will set you back for no more than £40 and 50p for the whole six. And they make a really good range. So Morrison's doing really good things with wine, really good things with wine in that sub £10 um, bracket too. And we're going to start off with... Uh, there's two of these little wines I've got. This is Isoletta. This is Nero Davola from Sicily. Sicily, uh, one of Italy's really dynamic um, areas, uh, uh, great producing areas and wine producing areas. Uh, so this is £5.50. Nero Davola, probably one of the sort of signature grapes of Sicily. And what do we have? It's quite pale. And uh, on the nose, you've got some lovely sort of plum and a little bit of black pepper. Mmm. And it's light and fresh. It's 13.5% in alcohol. It doesn't It's not too weighty. Light and fresh. And yeah, the plum comes through. Some uh, cherry, red cherry uh, in there. Some nice acidity. £5.50 a bottle. That's a great wine. A great sort of party wine. It tastes of something. Got some character. It's well made. It's not trying too hard. It's not massively complicated. But a £5.50 a bottle, that's a super wine. Okay, so possibly a bit of a step up. This is 825. This is from their The Best Range. This is a Cahors Malbec from southwest France down near Bordeaux. Uh, Malbec is one of the uh, great varieties that's used in Bordeaux, in the red wines of Bordeaux. And it's got a lovely sort of almost smoky tar nose to it. And there's some uh, like blueberry um, and some black currant to the nose. Mm. Yeah, that tar, the smoke, a little bit of pencil rubber in there, and there's some real freshness. It's real like cranberry freshness to it. So again, 825 is cut above. It's from there, the best range. There's a lot of really good wines in the best range. Um, interesting stuff. 825, 13% in alcohol, but lovely wine. Okay, so this is the second of the Isoletta's. This is Lucido and Pinot Grigio. Now, we all know Pinot Grigio, but Lucido is a new one on me. Again, it comes from Sicily. Interesting grape variety, Lucido. And it's got a lovely sort of lemon, um, lemon and key lime pudding kind of nose to it. Mmm. Oh, it's fresh, beautiful, expressive, uh, zesty. Um, some green apple, really sort of tart green cooking apple to it. £5.19 a bottle. Again, another great party wine. They're doing some great things at Morrison's. Isoletta Lucido Pinot Grigio. How about that then? Okay, so next up we have got, this is Connoisseur Bicicletta. Comes from Chile. It's a Viognier. 7 a bottle. Connoisseur, you'll see them around. It's not only available in, in Morrison's. Um, both the reds and the whites, the Bicicletta range, are really, really good, really affordable. And what do you get for your 750? Well, oh, it's beautiful. Um, grapefruit and, uh, yeah, Viognier. It's a grapefruit and, and there's some tropical fruit in there, some mango, I think, on the nose. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. A mango, peach. Pear, orange, it's a real fruit salad of a wine. 750 a bottle, that's a real good standby. If ever you need a bottle of wine, connoisseur are the people to go to. Really good wines. And next up, another uh, brand, Tre, uh, Triventino. Trivento, sorry, Trivento. This is a Malbec uh, rose from Argentina, from Mendoza in Argentina. It's quite a hot area, but it has really good, lovely cooling breezes. So that's two Malbecs. Um, you can make rosé wine. You can make white wine out of uh, red grapes. And it's got a beautiful, really sort of subtle, um, like rose petal nose. Beautiful floral nose. Mm. Strawberry, 
grapefruit. There's a little bit of sort of structure to it that you get like the tannins you get in a red wine. There's a little bit of that in it, but not intrusively. And it matches the lovely fruit, fruit character and also the high acidity. So what did we say that was? That's eight pounds a bottle. It's a beautiful wine, very good a bottle, really pretty, lovely rosé. And last of all on my list, this is Castillo de Sierra Carver. So uh, it's 5 85 a bottle, which is a terrific price for some fizz. And it's got a lovely sort of apple and biscuit nose to it. Do you get apple biscuits? You should get apple biscuits. This is an apple biscuit nose. Mm. And it's opulent and generous and it's got that biscuity thing does carry through it's like the biscoff biscuits like a digestive uh, biscuit beautiful 585 for a really lovely drop of fizz so there you go um all of the details will be in the little box below if you're watching on youtube um like i say go to the drinker.co.uk and you'll see all of my recommendations from all of the different supermarkets this year um and we're on twitter we're on uh tiktok and YouTube, yeah, you're here on YouTube. Yeah, Twitter, TikTok and YouTube. Search at Drinker Site and have yourself some very good seasonal drinking. Cheers.